All right, so if you're watching this video, my expectation is that you're at least familiar with the Radio Master TX16S, but you're either number one, wondering if it's for you, whether or not you should buy it, or number two, you've gotten it and you have no clue like I did how to use it. And I had to spend the first hour just trying to figure it out. Hopefully with a little bit of a video here, I can help you out and show you just how powerful this radio is. So what is the Radio Master TX16S? It is what we would call an all-in-one radio. So not only is it able to run radios like the Fly Sky i6 or the Free Sky Tyrannus uh, protocol, this exact same radio without having to buy anything else can also run Spectrum. But then I think what really also makes it exciting is not only can it combine all of those different protocols, but what if I told you that it was capable of flying this? So what I'd like to do is use this FQ777 generic little drone to show you how to set up this radio. And I think my guess is once you see what we're able to do with this, using this little drone, you're probably gonna wanna run out and buy one of these if you haven't already. The radio will arrive with this battery pack in the back, which is a battery holder for 1650 lithium ion cells. You can buy those off eBay or Amazon. I've ordered mine and they didn't come in time for me to do this video. And so I went ahead and used just a normal 1200 mAh 2S battery that I had laying around, which works perfectly fine. What's nice about this is these cells are easily replaceable when they've kind of run down. And this is 1200 mAh. These cells, I think the ones that I bought will be 2600 because I went ahead with uh, some Samsung ones. But um, the battery is plugged in using the, the balance lead. And so let's just show you how you turn the radio on. Press and hold the power button until the welcome screen comes on. You'll see the blue light. Welcome to You'll be welcomed by this screen. Now, I've already turned down the background brightness because when it was cranked up, it was horrible. You couldn't see it on the, uh, on the actual camera screen. Um, but the best way to think of this radio is to think of it as three different menus or three different rooms where you are going to create all your changes, make your models, things like that. And so to access the first room, which is the first menu, you press and hold the system button. This is going to be the configuration for the radio itself, not the programming of models, but the actual radio. And to give you an example of what it's capable of, by the way, the four buttons on the side, you have the back button at the top and the two page buttons. Playing with this radio for a couple of minutes, this will become very intuitive. You'll remember back, side to side, and then your scroll wheel is your up and down. So we're gonna go over to the settings right here, and then I'm gonna go down so what I had done is the backlight was so bright. I'll show you this. Um, it was so bright that it washed out the camera. And so I just went into this systems menu and I easily turned this down. How does that look for you? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And so that's the systems menu. That's as deep as I'm gonna get for setting up our first model. We don't really need to know that much more. Uh, there will be more in-depth videos, I'm sure, on all of this stuff. I just want to give you a beginner's guide. So to exit this menu, we're going to press exit. That takes you to the top. Press exit again. We're back out to the model. Let's go ahead and show you how to select different models. Eventually, I'll show you how to edit in the model. So going into the models, press and hold the scroll wheel down. This window will pop up, and we want not model select reset to statistics or about, but we want the actual model select. So go ahead and select that. Um, I had set this up just to make sure it would work and I wanna show you this. So if I try to delete this model, when I pull up this menu, I get a very limited menu. That's because, and it took me a bit to figure this out, um, call me dumb, but um, that's because I have this selected and there's only so many things you can do when the model is selected. If the model isn't selected, we can easily delete that model, duplicate, create, select, all those things. So I want to delete this model and start over from scratch. This is how you would delete a model if you accidentally made one. Click the wheel again to enter or hit back if you did that on accident. So let's go ahead and make one. 
We're gonna press and hold and it says, do you wanna create a model? Click yes, I wanna create a model. I wanna create plane because that gives us the most options. With a glider, it thinks that I'm maybe only using three channels. So then it asks, does it have a motor? Yes, it has a motor. And I know that I want channel three just because I played with this, so I can leave that at its default. You'll notice on the right-hand side, it says page over. This is kind of like a setup wizard, like you would see on the computer for setting something up, which is super handy. We're gonna go over, it's gonna say, number of ailerons on your model. Now this is if you're using uh, a receiver like this and you plugged in two different servos into two different channels, you could tell it what channel those servos are in. We are actually only gonna use one channel for our servos and so we'll set that up that way. And I'll go ahead and move this in for just a second because this is what we are trying to set up. And it asks, do you want it on channel one? Yes, we do. So let's just go ahead and page over using the page button. Does your model have flaps? Uh, no, it doesn't have flaps. Um, your tail configuration. So this is where you can choose. I love, and they make it OpenTX. They've done just such a great job with this setup wizard. Um, it asks you, is channel two your elevator and is channel four your rudder? which would be how you've plugged it in here. I've played with this, so I know that this is all in its default settings. These will work great. Do you need to change anything? Hit the select and change to yes, all is well. No, I do not need to change anything. Hit, hit select and then it says you created it. Now just hit the return or the back button to exit. And you'll see we have selected model number five right here. So let's go ahead and uh, go into the model screen um, and I'll show you how to uh, edit that model so that we can use this thing. So we're gonna go into the model screen. You've seen the system, you've seen how to create. Now let's look at the third room, how do I edit my model? Press and hold this button. And uh, to edit the model, we are gonna go down because this has this internal module in it. We're gonna go down to that internal module and we're gonna turn that on, there it is internal RF. Do you want to use the uh, the internal um, radio? And the answer is yes, we do. And so turn the transmitter on. The internal transmitter is now turned on. And then moving over, we can select all of these different options here. And I am looking, and by the way, there's a ton. I saw eSky and that made me laugh. You've got Spectrum, Free Sky, Fly Sky, Tyrannus. Um, there's even the CX-10, the, the, the little drone like this made by uh, CX. I think that's made by Cheerson. There's uh, some of you may get a kick out of this, you early drone guys. I'll show you some of these. There's, by the way, there's high tech and stuff I've never even heard of before. There's Hubson. Hubson is, uh, is a big one, the H107. Um, but I got a kick out of this. Let's see if we can find it. The Sima X. That made me laugh when I saw it. All right, so this is the FQ777. I just want to show you how, how well they did with this radio. So we're going to go to the FQ777F. FQ777, and we're going to select. Whoops. Um, there, FQ777. We're gonna select. Now I'm gonna go to bind, but I'm not gonna bind yet because I still have to open this thing up. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you can say goodbye to this dumpy little radio because I'm gonna show you that this high quality Hall gimbal radio is capable of flying that little drone. So we're gonna get rid of this thing. So let's go ahead and turn this on and we'll get it in the bind mode, so that's the slow flashing. And watch how easy this is to set up. You ready for this? Bind, solid lights. Throttle is down. Let's just see if we've done this correctly. Throttle up. Let's go left, right, back, forward, and yaw. Let's fly it just a little bit.
Yep, you got it. It works. So there you have it. This radio will fly these little toy quads, which now makes these things feel like true, genuine, hobby-grade items. When I was able to do this and it was this simple, I wasn't I was so excited. I had to make a video to show you guys how to do this. So yes, it will fly these. And by the way, if you wanted to edit the name of this, you could go to the top, do the model name and change this. Four, hit the back. That's now the name. You'll notice it here. So there you go. If you want to be able to turn off your radio, press and hold the power button. Hope that helps, guys. I'm in love with this radio.